Hey guys, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. If you are not yet a part of the nation, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like crazy, if you like serious, if you like different types of topics, different types of videos. I will um, title my videos accordingly so you can watch what you want to watch. And I promise you, even something you might not want to watch, you may watch and be like, you know what, that's a little out there, but it's interesting. Try it and see. I don't know. So today, really quick, what I purchased during the Sephora sale, which I didn't even purchase it on sale, and I'll tell you why. I had, um, sorry for the rattle, and this is something I purchased and they put it in a bag inside of the box. Um, I had $25 in points that I purchased from the rewards points thingy. I don't even know what they really call it. Um... And I also had $30 rewards cash from using my Visa, my Sephora Visa card. And both expired mid-December. And I kept thinking, I don't need anything. I have foundation. I already have a backup foundation. This was this one's almost empty. I already have another one. Um, I have enough powders. Um, my Fenty bronzers, they're going to last for a very long time. And so I was just like, what do I need? And so I was really struggling on what to buy. And then I'm like, okay, it is 20% off. So let me just, you know figure out what I'm going to get, something that I already currently use because I'm I'm past buying stuff that I really don't need just because it's on sale because I did that the last time and I ended up with all, all of those Natasha Denona palettes. And so I'm like, I'm not going to do that again. I need no more eyeshadow palettes probably for like 10 years. No, I say at least probably about five. However, I did purchase one. So what happened was when I went to went in my cart and I put a few items in a cart, when I put in the 20% off code, it was still less than my $25 that I had for the rewards. And so I'm like, yeah, it's not worth it. And so the first thing I used was the $25 rewards. And what I purchased was um, some soap. And I think it was just soap. I think it was soap and did I get the primer with that order? Soap and primer. That's what I got. No, it was over $25, but still, I used the $25 for that. So the, the balance on that one that I paid was super low. And my second purchase, um, I used my $30. So I'm like, okay, it's still more than the 20% would have been. So this is what I purchased. Items that I already use, that I already like, except for the one palette that I purchased. What I found that I liked was, thank you to Wayne Gosh here on YouTube, was the Drunk Elephant... Um, bar soap i have a set with both of these soaps this one i use in the daytime it's just a regular bar soap this one is an exfoliant and it does actually exfoliate i use this at night and this is how he uses them he's like he uses this in the morning uses this at night and i really do enjoy these soaps the other one i purchased it was both of these but it came in a travel um little case thing and this time i said i don't need the case um, I think for that it was like six or seven dollars more. So I said I'll just get the bar soap because what I do is I travel with these. Great for travel. Look how tiny they are. Great for travel. And they last a long time because I don't even use this every day. Um, and I don't use this every night. But when I use them, that is how I use them. And I'm probably speaking gibberish right now. <laughs> Welcome to the crazy in the TCTA. But I really do like these soaps. And so for travel purposes, I'm like, that is awesome. And so I purchased these. I'm wondering now if I should edit some of that out because that was like babble, but I probably won't. And because I do like the exfoliating soap so much, I didn't even tell you what they were. The exfoliating one is Juju Bar. I purchased a full size one. This Juju Bar is one in my shower. The other one, the non exfoliating one is the Peaky Bar. That's the white one. That's this one. So I purchased those two. I also purchased another one of the Sephora Bright Futures Gel Serum in number 11.5 Butterscotch. This is the concealer that my skin is, it's a good match for me right now. And I have that on now un, under my Cover FX Shade G60 Power Play Foundation. That video I just uploaded before this one, I think, depending on when I schedule them to upload. The other thing I purchased was Another uh, Milk Hydro Grip Face Primer. I really like this primer. This is the one I'm currently using, and I use it every time I wear foundation, which is not often. I maybe, not even, 
a quarter of the way through it yet. It's going to last me a long time. But again, I'm thinking, okay, I need to use, sorry for the noise. I need to use these points. I need to use these rewards. What am I going to do? And really thinking about what am I actually honestly going to use kept me from just being like, oh, it's on sale. Let me buy this or that. And then with the points and the rewards, using that, my items were a lot cheaper than using the 20% off. So, so I have another primer. And the other item I purchased was another hourglass um, setting powder. I really do like the Lancome Long Time No Shine setting powder, but I equally like the hourglass powder. And so I said, you know what? This is pricey, just like the Lancome one is. And I alternate between the Lancome and this one. I definitely will use it, which is why I purchased it. So I have this to get through as well. And the last thing I purchased, which I did not need another palette. I think I was sleepy. I love their red one a lot, and I love their blue one a lot. And so I'm like, I didn't know they had a green one. This one is G-Train. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> the other two, the red one and the blue one, I actually leave in my um, travel makeup case with other makeup items. And so when I go somewhere, I just take it and go. I don't have to figure out what am I going to put in here? Da, da, da. Everything is in there. So this one I will leave in there as well. These are what the colors look like. I was wishing this didn't look so cool toned, but then I'll probably top it with this one. These two, I don't, I probably will not get much use out of those, maybe in a corner or um, brow highlight, but definitely these I will get use out of and these four I will get use out of. That's the issue I have with palettes. There's always at least half the shades. They just don't show up on me or they're too cool toned and I look ashy. But when I was looking at the pictures of these and the arm swatches they had on Sephora, I said, you know what, I can use all of these with the exception of maybe those two. Um, and since this is going in my travel case, is it that big of a deal? Nope. So, and I, this was only $25 too. And again, I use points and rewards and all of that. Um, so I purchased nothing on sale from the, from the actual 20% off sale. It just wasn't more than what I was already gonna get. So that's it for this video. So thanks guys for watching. Comments below are always welcome. And you will see me in the next video. Bye. <laughs>